Today's video is a request from a subscriber. One of my subscribers has asked me to do a tutorial on how to bind a mug rug. So today I'm going to show you how to bind this little mug rug. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put this binding on. Now here is the mug rug I've been working on and it's just going to take one strip of fabric, the width of the fabric, and some people cut theirs two and a half inches, but I just cut mine two and a fourth inches. Okay, so I folded this over and I pressed it with the sides, pressed it good there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start here on the bottom. And I'm going to leave a tail there to work with, and I'm just going to start sewing from here down to a fourth of an inch from right there, the corner. We've started on the back because I like to fold it over and do a stitch on the front with my machine. So this technique is showing you how to do binding by machine. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark a fourth of an inch from the corner because this is where I'm going to stop my stitch. So I'm going to sew a fourth of an inch from right in here just down. Alright, and I'm going to stop right there. Okay, so as you can see, I sewed from right there down to my point that I marked a fourth of an inch in. Right, now this is the fold here. Okay, then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it back. I'm just going to do a little finger press there. And I'm going to fold it back on itself. Alright, I'm going to pin that. Okay, then down here I'm going to mark that fourth of an inch again right there and I'm going to sew down to that point right there right to okay so I pinned that so I'm just going to sew from off the edge a fourth of an inch all the way down to the uh, fourth of an inch mark that I marked right there okay so I've sewed down to here I did my little back stitch there. Now I'm just going to repeat the process. Fold that back. Finger press that. Line that up. Pin that. Gonna mark my little fourth of an inch so I'll know where to stop. And I'm going to sew from here down to here. Okay, so I sewed across there. I'm going to repeat that process again. Gonna mark my little fourth of an inch from the corner right there. I'm just gonna sew from off, back tacking there, sewing down to that dot, and then doing a little back stitch there. I'm gonna fold that back and then pin that. But I'm going to stop right around in here and I'm going to be leaving tails here and I've left this tail. So um, I'm going to sew down there just a little ways. Okay, 
So what we're going to do next, we're just going to cut this off a little ways. All right. Okay. Then we're going to lay this over there. Okay. And then I take the width of the binding and lay it from here to there, as you can see. And then I trim off that even with that. Okay. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to fold it back this way and I'm going to do a little finger press. And that's going to be my sewing line right there. Okay. Can you see? Can you see that crease? It's running right down through there. Okay, so I want to show you this again and hopefully you can see it a little bit better. You're going to take this piece and you're going to fold it down just like that. Okay? Just like that. And you're just going to finger press that marking. Then that fold becomes your sewing line. Okay? Then you're just going to take these and put right sides together. And then I think it's really important to pin here. Now you can draw a line from that point up to here, but I like just using the fold line better. It's kind of hard to get a pen in there and mark that. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold. I'm just gonna sew from here, right down here, to on my fold line. And like I said, you can draw a line there if that helps you. Okay, so you can see, I've sewn right on that fold line. Okay, now before I cut it, I like to make sure I've done it correctly. And you can see I've done it correctly. So now I'm just going to trim this off. You can cut it with your rotary cutter, but I'm just going to trim that off there. Okay, now I am going to give that a good press before I finish sewing it, and then I'll just finish sewing there, back tacking at each end. Here you can see I have it sewn on. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to press it and then I'm going to press it to the front. Okay, so I've pressed this to the front and you can see it's going to cover up those lines there. Now I want to show you how I, I got some of those threads up in there. So what I do is I pull it to the front and then I press it like this. Take my iron and I press it. Then I fold this corner down and I get a good press right there to make a nice corner. Okay, then when I have all that done, I'm just going to sew just an eighth of an inch right along the edge just right along the edge and I do use my presser foot to do all of this but um, and it, it takes some practice and you may run off the back a little bit that's really hard to not do so don't get discouraged if you run off the back sometimes I do too but you just try to come in just about an eighth of an inch and sew right along the edge. Now you can glue base this down if that helps or you can pin it whichever way it helps you. Now I do like to use the clips 
and I especially like these little clips because they help hold those corners down and then you can just move you know move each one out as you need to Now you do want to be sure to cover up your stitching line where you did sew it on from the back and you're pulling it to the front. I'm just going to sew right on there and I just use my walking foot and the edge of my walking foot to keep the line straight. Okay so I sewed all the way around the edge there and you can see in the front how that you know, just went right on around there. And there you have it. That's how you put the binding on a mug rug. I hope that's helped you, and until next time, have fun quilting.